YouTube. It's your boy Shorty Man. I'm back at y'all with another video. So today, right, I got my boy OT6 Scooby with me today. You know what I'm saying? Back in the building, you feel me? Show. So today, right, we're going to be having a little story time. So y'all remember my first video that I ever posted? We did a story time on how me and my brother got kicked out of Wawa for fighting. Like, we had to leave or whatever. Yeah, so, that was that was that was from the Glen side, right? Yeah, that was the Glen side, John. And so, at, the, at his story time, he told y'all how he went from Glen side to Roslyn. Yeah, then I told y'all how I had to get transferred from Roslyn because I got into another situation. So this is that story time. You mean basically a part two of how I got kicked yeah, out? Yeah, because I actually got transferred because of this too. But it, I ain't had no fight in night. It's got from. It's just like from a. Uh, Association, yeah. So, how does all start? So, you I might was... pick up from uh, from, uh, it all happened. <laughs> yeah. Like what did happen? So it was just one day, right? It was like a, a morning. So I was at work. Boom! I was working. So like this is when like Corona had its spike. Like that shit was bad, bad. Like a lot of people was getting that shit. So they were strict on like the mask and shit. So like this boy, he came in with his son. He had like a little baby boy with him. But at the time, like when I seen him, I ain't know he had a son with him. So um, he was walking around the store without a mask. And then one of my coworkers, she went up to him like, oh, you uh, you need a mask or whatever? And he was like, no, I, I can't wear one because I have a health condition or whatever, which is bullshit. Right. Like what? <laughs> so he said, no, I have a health condition. So then she came walking towards the back, like, cause I was walking towards the back so I can clock out. No, was I clock? No, I was walking to the back with some. And she was like walking past me. She's like, oh, he said that he has a health condition. So I was like, who got a health condition? Cause I thought she was like talking about me joking and shit. Feel me? So I'm like, who got a health condition? Boy, all the way in the aisle across the store talking about some. I got a health condition. So I'm like. And my mom like, who the fuck this boy talking to? Like, I don't give a fuck. So I look over and shit. He looking at me. So I'm like, my man, I wasn't even talking to you. Like, what is you talking about? He said, well, I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm like, so what you saying? So me and him steady going back and forth, boom. And then all I see like his little son came out of nowhere was like, just got right next to him. I'm like, oh shit. And so boy like walking like my direction like he was going to do something. I'm saying, so like, what you trying to do? And boy was, I was like, I looked down, I see his baby son. I'm like, you know what, man, you got it. Like, I'm not even going to be doing all that in front of your son. He said, man, I'll run all this. I said, man, this man talk too much for me. Well, I don't even know what time I was at. Cause we, were, we was working the same day. I came in at two though. Yeah, this was like around like 110. Something like that. It was, it was like early one o'clock. I was always late to work. <laughs> yeah, so me and this nigga steady going out and then once I seen the sun, like I calmed down because like I'm not finna be arguing with this nigga in front of the sun like I was still going at his ass, but it's just like I'm not going, you know what I'm saying, be rumbling him in front of the sun like that shit drawing. So I'm like, yo, you know you you lucky your son right here, this that the third and Nancy, she started pushing me to the back and shit like come on, come on, it's not worth it, this that the third. So she pushed me to the back. I was mad as shit. I tried to go back back out there and shit. And he's like, no, like Matt, he was turning red and shit. He's like, no, dude, no, bro, let me handle it. And then Matt went out there to the boy and was like, do you have a problem with my employee, this, that, and the third? He said, no, he has a problem with me, this, that, and the third. Woo. And then after that, boy was like, I know where you work at. So yeah. once he said that, I got on angle. I tried to go at his ass, but like, they, they would not let me get out there. So he's like, I know where you work at. So boom, he left. I ended up getting off at two. And then I used to work six to two. He used to work two to ten. Hey. So when he came in and shit, that's when I was already home and shit. Was it the same day or was it the next day? No, it was the same day. The same day. And then so I went home. No, before I left, I told him everything that happened and shit. He's like, bro, you should have stuffed him. <laughs> I was like, this nigga want me to get kicked out again. And then after I went home, that's when you was there. And yeah. you, you told me what you saw. So boom, right? So I'm doing my, my daily thing. I'm, I'm making drinks because he had got moved from two to 11. He used to be on the drink side. So when he moved to morning side, they put me on the drink. So I basically filled in his position. So I'm doing the drinks and changing the coffee. And then some bull woke up and was like, 
some bull with light, some light skin bull working with Tex. And mind you, this the same bull that we was about to go at before over a worm and a cookie up. Yeah. Like, he wanted his cookie warmed up and we told him who we can't because of the COVID and all that. He started calling the show, talk about he going, he's getting goats and all that. And me and Sean just looking at him like, hey, what is I wish he would walk back here. We was going to fuck him <laughs> up, man. We was sitting here staring at him. Was bro, 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 like, shit like, we was just oh waiting. Oh my gosh. But soon he came in, he was like, you know somebody that work here, light skin with a tech. And I'm like, I don't know nobody with a tech, nobody work here. But I don't think they knew I was his man. Because around when we first saw him, my hair was black. Yeah. The second time when he came in asking for Sean, my hair was blonde. So off the earth, I was just acting like I was new hair. Mm -hmm. So he was like, you know, somebody light skin with tattoos. I'm like, no, I don't know about light skin with tattoos. And he was like, the tall boy, he light skin. He got, he was talking to my man, and I was like, no, I just got here. And he was like, oh, all right, I know, I know where he work at. So as he walked into the counter, it's just a boy named Cat. She, he asked her too. I heard him talking. He was like, you know, you know, a light skin boy that work here, and she was like, no. Blah, blah blah. I don't know what she was saying, but he was like, no. So he had walked out. And then I think Rashida had came to me and Rashida was our manager. She came to me and she was like, what was that about? And I was like, she was asking for Sean. He, I mean, he was asking for Sean and all that. But I was I was saying, I didn't know where he was at. Boom. And then I text Sean. I'm like, bro, the bull came up here. Blah, blah, blah. And he was like, what bull? Because I was on FaceTime with him. It was yeah. like, what bull? And I was like, so his man came up here asking for you and all that. And this is how we found out it was the same boy was connected to. So, Vaughn and Sean and his pop and all of them came up. He didn't even know we was coming bro, up here. Right. Yeah. I did not know he was coming. I look at the door. I see his pop walking in all husky. This nigga came in looking like Hulk. Bro, he was <laughs> like, fuck as hell, bro. Walking in like this. No, I'm going to keep it being. I'm not, not about to tell y'all John, but... So you called me and told me what happened. I pull up. I don't see my pop hung out the wall. What the fuck? Yeah, you like as soon as we bro. pull up, we see my pop walking in the store. We came right behind him, like, bro, this it's nigga walked in, bro. He he starts scaring Rashida. Like he was like, <laughs> I tear the store apart. This is the second time this happened. Like I beat somebody ass, and Rashida's like, I understand, baby, I understand. And bro, he was, it was just crazy. Like that's when we started pulling up camera footage and all that, looking for cars and all that. But then we pulled up the camera footage of the bull face when he walked in. And they said he had a little bag on him too. Yeah, right? he had a yeah, bag on him, a little bag on him. He had a so blick with him. So we pulled up the camera footage when we first walked in the door because at Rising, it's like a camera, like straight point at the door to see their faces who walk in. We see his face. I'm like, right. bro, it's the same bull that came here for the cookie. Oh, blah, we got that connect all handled and all that. And that's when I, had, I couldn't come back. Like, he had to get transferred. And. The reason I got transferred is because, like, sooner or later, like, then they would start saying people start coming to the store at every shift just waiting outside. Like, it was just one boy with a book bag. He had, like, an ad pro. I ain't trying to write or nothing. But it was just one boy. He'd come up to the store at every shift. Like, he'd come in the morning shift and wait till, like, 2 o'clock. After nobody coming for 2 o'clock, he'd wait for night shift. Like, yeah. even my RO night manager, bro, they said the same thing was outside waiting with a book bag. So... Sooner or later, I wasn't trying to chance it. I didn't want them to know, like, oh, this is man, so we gonna get him too. So I was saying I had to get, tra I, tra I transferred to Flower Town. I told my manager and all that, I wanna get transferred to Flower Town and all that. So that's when I started working at Flower Town. Cause Rollins started getting hectic, bro. Bro, like, that was, man, I love that story, man, but it was like some bullshit with that joke. Even my bro was getting, about getting ready to get, oh, you getting ready to get into some shit in there too? Yeah, oh, yeah, with the ball with the pimples. Oh, the black skin bull? No, the brown skin bull. The, the black ones? ones? Yeah. No, he ended up cool though. Yeah, he ended up cool, but like, you mean, at first you was like. Oh, yeah, I, I was ready to fuck him up multiple times, bro. Okay. Yeah, like. I yeah. already thought everybody, yo. I was not playing this shit. Yeah, man, so like, that's how it happened. It was crazy, like. You yeah, mean? All because all the boy ain't want to put on a mask, bro. like, over a mask, bro. And I, we didn't even know he was connected to the boy that came in for the cookie, like. He was acting crazy. He said, I run all this shit. How you gonna say you run all this shit, but you gonna tell your man come in here, but you know where to be found? All right, you telling your man to come catch the wreck for you, like. If you really bought that, come step yourself, you feel me? But, like, mm. that I have I had problems with that boy, too, like, beforehand. Remember how I told you, like, he came up to the counter and he was, cause he he was asking for a drink. He came up and I was on the register. He came up to the counter and was like, y'all a little rowdy in here. Like y'all don't get off work, blah, blah, blah. So tell me who? Me. 
he rowdy. But he wasn't saying I was rowdy. He was talking about, I forgot who was on drinks. I think it was Ricky. I think Ricky wasn't trying to make him a drink and all that because the boy wasn't trying to pay for it first. He was trying to get the drink and then pay for it. So Rock, Ricky was telling him like, you got to pay for it, blah, blah, blah. So I guess he took it as the, like the wrong thing because the way Ricky be talking, he was like, y'all be rowdy in here. Like, y'all don't get off work. Like, basically saying, like, he can't catch yeah, you outside. Exactly. So I was just, I just lagged. And he was like, where you from? I was like, Germantown. Wow. He was like, well, I'm from Erie. I'm like, why? He was like, what time you get off? I was like, I get off late. He was like, why? And just laughed. So I laughed too. I was like, what's up with you? Like, he was like, nothing, blah, blah. I don't know what he was saying. Then I, that's why I called Vine too. I was like, bro, he from Erie, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then we was just like, you know what I'm saying? Nobody give a fuck about nobody from Erie. <laughs> Yo, bro, them niggas just, man, that shit, man. Yeah, man, that's how, I mean, that's how it happened, though. You know what I mean? That's how it happened. So he got transferred twice. Yeah, I got transferred twice, man. I so now y'all know who the bad example is because, like, hell no. Y'all already know who this one is. You too, you the bad influence too. I'm the nice one. You nigga, know we got kicked out because of you. Damn. All because yeah. this nigga this nigga wanna be I was just retaliating. Alright. All Damn. over not giving somebody a black. No, no, no backwoods, oh, backwoods. backwoods. Yeah. All because not giving somebody a backwood. No bro, he ain't wanna give me his ID. That's yeah, what it was. You took your job too serious, bro. Bro. Cause it was like he was giving me an attitude, so fuck that nigga. Oh uh, yeah, so he, so you you would have gave him a pass, but since he gave you an attitude, you was like, exactly. Man, I ain't being nice no more. Exactly. Like like I'm about, the same type too. You feel me? Like if you cool with it, if you give me an ID one time, alright, cool, boom. If I keep on seeing you come in, I'm not gonna keep on asking you. But he yeah. was being an asshole for me, he's acting crazy. That's why I was like, start calling you like your name and everything. Yeah, like man, that shit crazy, man. But y'all already know how that went. Y'all saw his other story time. Yeah, man. So that was a story time. That's how I got kicked out the second time. Hey, man. Let us know what else y'all want to see from us, man. For real. No cap, man. Any story times, anything. Reactions, whatever y'all want to see us do, man. I'm going to get a dump for y'all. No cap. Damn. Hey, go subscribe to my channel, OT6 Scooby. You feel me? I'm about to start posting reactions, story times, mukbangs, all that. Anyways, man. Now, this story time was to tell y'all. Try your best to ignore people, man. It ain't worth it. You know what I'm saying? You got any advice for them? You don't ignore nobody. I don't know why you saying. All right, I'm, wor I'm working on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on it. I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? Ignore people. You know what I'm saying? Not getting, I don't get into trouble. You know what I'm saying? I'm a nice young man. You just told a story about getting transferred to them. Bro. Bro. All right, man. Anyways, man, y'all have a nice day, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to catch y'all later, though. Gang squad.